Hi again everybody. Well today the aim is to try and get this um, front corner fitted back to the car. The front suspension, the wishbones and the uh, the upright obviously. So with that in mind um, I just wanted to show you a few things really that I've done up to now. I've, I've refurbished both wishbones, that's the bottom one and the top one. They've all been painted. They've got new bushes back back in there, um, uprated ones. Um, the chassis has been painted as well and is ready really to accept all the new components. So there's the, the shock absorber ready to go on. I've got a new disc there and there's the upright. The upright I decided to fit all the uh, parts to it like the uh, I put a new top um, ball joint in and a new bottom ball joint there and a new track rod end. I've done that on the bench because it's much easier to get torque wrench and, uh, and t torque these bolts up um, off the car rather than on the car. So that's all been done. They're all brand new, ready, ready for refitting. Um, so that's it really. Uh, just another little thing I wanted to show you was that this, one, one of the things when you come to put these wishbones back on is these, these lugs here on the chassis can be quite tight and um, you, you do have to put quite a bit of force on sometimes to get the, the wishbones to fit so what I do is if you can get a bar like this and just put it in and just tweak those um, those lugs open slightly um, then it, it, it just gives you that little bit of extra room to get the wishbone in and I've done that on all of them I've actually just opened these up very very slightly with a bar um, top bottom and the shock absorber ones as well and, and it does make life a lot easier when, when you come to um, to put the wishbones back on. So with that in mind, I'm going to make a start and then I'll just do a couple of little vids as we go along just to show you the progress really. So I'm all set up, got a fresh cup of coffee on the go and uh, I'm going to start by fitting the bottom, um, the bottom wishbone. That will be the first part of the job and then I shall fit the hub to the wishbone and then I'll fit the top wishbone and then hopefully we can lock it all off and, and bolt everything down and the job will be done. Um, because one of the things I need to do, I obviously I've got still got the other side to do and I want to be able to roll the car outside, turn it round and bring it back in so that I'm working on this side of my garage because all my tools are this side and I've got much better lighting over here so um, that's what that's the aim is to get everything fixed up today turn the car around and then I can make a start on the final um, corner which is obviously the driver's side front end so which needs basically just the same doing that I've done on this side so with that in mind I'm ready to make a start oh just one other thing before I do make a start on the on the car I'm not sure if any of you out there use the uh, the latex gloves to try and keep your hands clean when you're doing these mucky jobs. Um, I used to use them and um, to be honest they're pretty poor rubbish really if you think about it. As soon as you get your hands a bit oily they, they sort of go all funny and break up and you can't put your hands into any kind of liquid. They just, they're just not very good, not very good at all. And I started to use these like vinyl um, gloves here. I know it's only a glove, but you know if you're working in oil all the time and you're getting your hands dirty, you know you are at risk of getting some nasty things like dermatitis and things like that. And it's always nice to not have dirty hands at the end of the job. So if um, I just thought I'd pass it on, really, that these these this type of like I think they call them an exam glove. They're very very effective and far far better than the latex type and not that expensive. I mean a box with about a hundred pairs in like this costs about three quid so it's um, quite economical as well um, and they do a good job so there you go. Okay so that's the progress so far um, that's the bottom wishbone on and the shock absorber nothing's been tightened up yet um, do all that later when it's got some weight on the uh, suspension so that uh, everything's in the correct position when you tighten it down so um, so there we go that's the bottom wishbone done so now I'm going to move on to the upright um, the hub and uh, fit that up and then the top wishbone will be the last bit okay a little bit more progress there's the um, the upright on and I just want to show you this one as well a little, little tip um, 
I didn't want to, un when I took it all to pieces, I didn't want to have to undo my brake pipes and then have to bleed them again because that's a ball ache. So what I did was um, on the little on the bracket where the pipe, brake pipe goes through there, you can see I just took a little nick out of it with a grinder, and the, the because I've got Goodrich pipes, um, Goodrich hoses on my on my car. You can see there that they've got a plastic covering on them, but they're, they're the stainless steel hoses underneath, and it just fits through that. Um, through that little cut out there nicely obviously there's a rubber grommet in there so um, just saves you having to bleed all the brakes and everything and do all the pipes okay there we are finally have it that's the uh, the corner complete now top wishbone on shock absorber new disc caliper but I need some new pads um, they haven't arrived yet but I'll be putting them in when they come so but it's only so I can turn the car around in the, and get it on the, to the ramp the other way. Um, so that's it. That's how to reassemble um, front suspension and wishbones on a TDR Griffith. Um, took a couple of hours, and I'm still not quite finished because I've still got to tighten up all the nuts and bolts and uh, make sure everything's buttoned down properly. Um, so yeah, I think if you allow sort of three hours for the job. We shouldn't be far off really, as long as it goes reasonably well, um, which this did, because everything was nice and clean and everything was, some of the things were pre-assembled, ready to fit, so that's it, that's the front suspension. So you've seen the back and the front now, and I hope that uh, it's of some use to some of you, you might have a go yourself and save yourself a few, a few quid. Thanks for watching.